previously on so this is at sunrise good afternoon from kazakhstan i tell you where we are but i don't know we've got no phone service we've got no plan we've got nothing there's one thing that we are getting way more comfortable with we just got dropped off in a random city on the side of the road in kazakhstan and we're just fine with it i don't know we're getting much more comfortable with all of this we have a lot going on at the moment still don't know where we're sleeping yet it's well after dark we need to plan and we've only got like 12 hours to figure it out. There's a train and a flight. One's gonna take 30 hours and be very cheap. The other one is gonna take two hours and is very expensive. But it saves us a day. Those are our options. We will update you guys in the morning. It's morning. I don't know if it's good yet. We gotta see if we can get on this train. We did so much research last night and stayed up really late. We've already missed that plane that we were considering taking and we have missed the morning train, but there's one in the afternoon. So we're gonna go try and get those tickets right now. It's a better train, so I'm not too upset. We intentionally skipped the morning train. We tried to buy tickets last night on a website that we found online and it wouldn't accept our international credit card. We're really disappointed, which is why we have to go there this morning and try and buy them in person. We also had to go and get cash out last night. like. Late, well, Nathan did. I did not. Excuse I ran me. through the dark to a grocery store. Yeah. It all worked out. Because you have to buy your tickets in cash. There's been lots of just little steps, but if we get on this train, that's one more thing accomplished, yep. except we'll land at 2 a.m. in a foreign city and have to figure out where to sleep from there. So that's our next obstacle. We'll see you after we buy the train tickets, putting that in the air. Yeah. Manifest it. Manifest it. I'm a little nervous to run into our taxi driver friends again. They may be hanging out in front of the train station. I really hope not. So that was not pleasant last night. They were ruthless. They followed us. They did follow us. Well, we did it. We have two second class sleeper tickets to Shimkent, Kazakhstan. They were 38,000 tenge total and it's gonna be a 30 hour ride. And uh, we don't have our own room this time, so I hope our bunk mates are friendly. Yeah. I did read that um, it's very customary to like share with your group, like whoever you're in a room with. So if there's snacks or tea or whatever, you're supposed to just automatically open it up to others. But this is a really long train and when we looked online, everything seemed very empty. So we might have the whole character to ourselves and we don't even know it. That would be nice. We don't leave until six o'clock tonight, so we are going to work a little bit, get some food, and then come back. We're back where we were like 12 hours ago. Unfortunately, they're not serving the breakfast that they show on the menu. So we're just gonna get cappuccinos and then figure out where to eat after that. Acto, hands down, has the best and most unique ambulances I have ever seen. How cool is that? never managed to find breakfast. It's noon, we're gonna head back to the train station and hang out for the next six hours until our train leaves. That's the plan. Open. On the menu it just said cutlet. We weren't quite sure what we were getting. Amber ordered noodles and I ordered buckwheat. The two beers, cutlets, plus bread was 2,500 tench. So we're gonna wait here until our train comes. This is just like what we had on the boat. Just like what we had on the boat, like exactly. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got about two hours until our train and we're moving locations. Nathan just ran to the store in the train station to grab us some snacks and some guy just comes and taps him on the shoulder and Nathan's like, like what, what do you want? And uh, he goes, phone, phone. It turns out I think Nathan left his phone somewhere. We're about to find out. You guys, I really wish you understood just how forgetful he is. Did you get it back? Get out of here. You are ridiculous. You stress me out. So this is nine. What are you, 14? 14, yeah. 
Okay, it is time for us to get on this train. They actually came and got us. We just met a very nice UK couple, David and Chloe. We hope to see you in Southeast Asia. If not, I hope you enjoy your journey. Thank you. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> 12. Here, take that. Okay. 11, seat 11. Cheese. It's a nice tiny room. I really hope more people don't come in here, but it could happen. This is a second class Talbo train, and this is the newer trains. It's air conditioned. There should be a food cart. We'll check that out later. Oh, somebody's already in here. Oh, look, there should be Wi Fi. Oh. Well, let's scratch that. I guess somebody else is already in here. I don't know where they are, though. This is cozy, and I don't know our man's name, but he seems very nice and quiet. I'm, like, excited. We have sheets. These look nice. There's a, a little shelf and cup holder up here. A light switch. Uh, our bags fit on the shelves, which is great. Looks like there's air conditioning. Yeah. 30 hours we're going to be on this. Our cabin roommate will be on here even longer. He's going to Almaty, so we will be together the entire time. It does say Wi-Fi. hasn't popped up yet, but usually electricity and stuff uh, kicks on after you leave, so we'll check that later. But I think mm. for tonight, we're just going to relax. I'll try to update you if anything happens. Yeah. And the conductor's told us twice to not film. film. So, yeah. Okay. But they seem really nice, too. Mm -hmm. Actually, all the people here seem kind of jokey, like laughy, like they just seem to be in pretty good moods. Mm -hmm. I honestly feel like such an American. We went to the store and got some snacks, but we got muffins, Snickers, and two cans of mojitos. And our roommate is a true Kazakh man. He has bread, some sausage, and eggs. I'm hoping that there is a dining cart. Otherwise, I think we stop for like 10, 15 minutes at a time. So maybe we can jump off and get some food too. Amber's going to uh, work and she is diligently trying to get out a Patreon post before we lose any kind of service. We bought 40 gigabytes worth of data so that we could upload videos and get done what we need to get done. It cost us $12 each. Looks like we have little trays if we want to eat in here. I don't know if they bring us food. I really have no idea what's going to happen in the next 30 hours. We're going to find out together. There's only one side. Oh, it can't be that hard. It's kind of sticky. What would this be for? This is for... I don't know. Uh, we see our friend do it. Well, <laughs> We also just saw camels out the window. I haven't been able to capture those on camera yet, but we've seen a lot of wild horses and presumably wild camels too. I have no idea if they're somebody, who knows. My feet stink and I'm embarrassed. I don't smell anything, you're okay. You can't because your nose is stuffed up. <laughs> just in case we don't see you until tomorrow morning, we'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> Is it sweet? Huh? A little buttery. Oh, oh yeah. It's got, it's got decent flavor actually. It's not too plain. Okay. Not bad. Um, can we have those? Mount you want four? Four? We do four? Four of those? Not a clue where we are. This is our first stop that we could get off at. 
These uh, ladies are selling all kinds of goods. <laughs> and then these dumplings, these were 300 tang. We're to try those. You guys, I'm in shorts and slippers. I am uh, very uncomfortable at the moment. It's really but we cold. had to come out and see this. That feels good. You just look at what I'm wearing, though. <laughs> We couldn't have stopped in like a better spot. The dining car is expensive compared to everything else that we see. It was 1700 tenge for the two coffees with milk and one rice porridge. Those four buns, I don't even know what's in them, but that was 300 tenge. So that's your comparison of what it would cost out in the real world as opposed to on the train. This almost has too much flavor. Like, normally these are a little bland. This is packing a punch. Mm. You want to try? Yeah, I do. For Amber to say it's got too much flavor, she doesn't say that ever. It's. I don't even know how to describe it. Hmm. I just hope they don't give me the poops. Those are delicious. We've seen these all over the place. They serve them on the train. We tried to get them last night for dinner, but they said that they were all out. I think the flavor comes from like almost a brothy flavor yeah. that's in the meat. Mm -hmm. So they're really juicy. And then there's just carrots, but it's just meat. Dumpling, then they're steamed. out here at this stop but we should hit another major one in like another hour we've been keeping our eye out the window and we've seen a lot of camels and horses and that's pretty much it we'll keep you updated Okay, next stop, and it looks like they have like this smoked fish. I don't know if I want to try that. But they have a lot of other things, and there's a lot of stands, so we'll go check out pretty much all of them. I think we've got about 10, 15 minutes. Next dish. Both of them are the best you put some fresh things. Yeah. Oh, this is the thing of things. This is the thing of things. This is the thing of things. This is for lunch we got something called plov. It's basically like a rice pilaf, but there's meat in it and it's really greasy. This was, I think, 1400 for two of them? I don't know. She cook, took a couple coins and a thousand. Like I said, it's really greasy. What kind of meat? Yeah. What kind of meat? No idea. Ooh, good. I think it might be goat. It could possibly be a horse, by the way. Or camel. Who knows? I'm over here trying to eat. Look, what I just pulled out of my bag. That is all bone. Do you see that? Bone. That's a, uh, like a back one. Yeah, that's a spine bone. Wow. From what? I really don't know. That's hilarious.
One of the only problems we have with this dining cart is the first three things that we try to order every time. Oh no, they're out. So I don't know how much they stock it, but Amber ordered chicken and mushrooms with cheese, very Kazakhstan. And I have uh, beef and vegetable soup, I think. It looks like the soup that everybody eats, so I'm excited to try it. We are gonna eat so that we can go to bed early because we have to get off this train, we think, at 2 a.m. The funny thing with all of these train times is that they're all in Almaty time. It doesn't matter where you are in the country, it only runs off of the capital's time. So so we don't know what time we actually are going to land in Shimken. It could be at 2 in the morning, it could be 1 in the morning. And then after that we're going to head to a hostel for a couple of hours and then hop on another mode of transportation. It's got like olives, pickles, ham, some other kind of meat, but a nice red broth which means it's probably kind of spicy. We're hitting spicy territory again. I'm really excited. How is it? Alright, it's pretty good. Yeah? It's tasty. Mm -hmm. A lot of flavor. The food packs so much flavor in here so far. This is the tiniest bathroom ever. It's not even a bathroom, it's just a sink room. The bathroom is smaller. And with that, we'll see you guys when we wake up in about five hours. video is pretty much going to end here. We're going to try to get a taxi to our hostel where we'll spend like approximately three or four hours total. Stick around if you want to see our crazy adventures moving forward. I hope you enjoyed this train journey. Everybody on that train was so nice. I'll admit our roommate was a little rude with his music and phone playing all hours of the night. But besides that, everybody was so, so nice. Always asking, did you sleep good? Like, do you need anything? Yeah, I would do that again. All right, see you guys. This taxi should cost us 420 tenj, which is like 90 cents. Woo. We're only going like 0.7 miles, so. I just wanted to tell you that, okay, bye. bye.